When it comes to Russian technology, Westerners often think of military equipment or Soviet-era aerospace feats. However, few people know that Russia is quietly developing a groundbreaking innovation that promises to change the energy landscape and could influence future aerospace designs. Meet the GTD-110M, the first turbine designed and manufactured entirely in Russia. This is no ordinary industrial engine. Its capabilities far exceed expectations. So what makes this turbine so important? Why is it superior to Western technology? Let's find out. To truly understand the significance of the GTD-110M, we need to place it in the context of the fierce geopolitical and technological storm that Russia is facing. For many years, Russia's vast energy grid was tightly tied to Western technology giants, names like Siemens General Electric and Alstom. Their gas turbines powered the backbone of the country's electricity supply, sustained vast industrial estates, and kept millions of homes warm. Moreover, this dependence was not seen as a weakness at the time. It was simply the status quo. Western turbines were reliable, proven, and readily available. And the relationship between Russian suppliers and power operators seemed stable and unshakable. For decades, there was no pressing reason to change course. But that era has come to an abrupt end. As Russia launched its military campaign in Ukraine, a series of Western sanctions was imposed with unprecedented speed and severity. Overnight, Russia found itself cut off from the global economic ecosystem it relied on. Western companies shut down operations, evacuated staff, and froze deliveries. And of course, even basic spare parts for existing turbines were inaccessible. This was more than an inconvenience. It was a looming national crisis. Hundreds of power plants scattered across the country were in danger. Without maintenance and replacement parts, many faced reduced output inefficiency or even complete shutdown. A fragile energy sector can paralyze a nation, and Moscow knows this better than anyone. Pressure mounted. Either continue to rely on countries that now openly restrict access or step into the unknown and build what has never been built before. And so Russia dared to take the harder path. This moment marked a profound turning point, the transition from dependence to resilience, from vulnerability to technological sovereignty. With sanctions tightening, Russia accelerated its efforts to build a large capacity, fully indigenous gas turbine, something the country had discussed for years but never pursued with full force. From this pressure, the GTD 110 Benham project was reborn not as an option, but as a survival requirement. Engineers, researchers, and manufacturers were mobilized. Old design plans were dusted off, updated, and redesigned. Costs increased. Deadlines were shortened. Every delay was a national risk. Driven by urgency, ambition, and dire need, Russia began paving the way toward energy independence. By 2024, that effort had culminated in a historic milestone. The gas turbine was officially launched at the Udaya power plant in southern Russia watched from afar by President Vladimir Putin. His remarks at the ceremony captured the deeper significance of the achievement. The fact that we have new production facilities and that we are becoming technologically independent sovereign at least in this area, is incredibly important. His personal involvement was not only symbolic, but strategic. By presiding over the launch of the turbine, Putin sent a clear message Russia had crossed a threshold. It had demonstrated that even under enormous pressure, the country could still build key technologies on its own. The GTD-110M is therefore more than just a machine. It represents a national transformation from dependence on foreign suppliers to a new era where Russia can stand on its own two feet. It demonstrates how pressure can spur progress, how constraints can spark innovation, and how necessity can create independence. So why is a new engine competing with the West? Don't leave yet. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so we can continue exploring.
The turbine is more than just a symbolic statement of independence in theory and in practice. It is a significant engineering achievement designed to compete with Western-built turbines. It is the first large-capacity gas turbine developed entirely in Russia, marking a breakthrough after decades of dependence on engines supplied by Western companies. The gas turbine engine is designed to deliver approximately 110 to 120 megawatts, which falls within the mid to high power segment of gas-fired power generation, and it offers performance comparable to many Western models designed for similar roles. What makes this turbine particularly attractive, however, is not just its raw power, but its combination of manufacturing advances, fuel flexibility, compactness, and operating efficiency. For example, developers emphasize that the turbine benefits from modern features, such as heat shield coatings and die cast blades, design choices that enhance durability and fuel efficiency in a wide range of climates. Even the turbine's structure is said to be lighter and more compact than many comparable foreign turbines making it easier to transport, install, and integrate. A significant advantage when retrofitting old plants or building new ones with limited infrastructure. Furthermore, fuel flexibility adds to its appeal. The turbine can operate on natural gas, which is standard, but can also handle accompanying petroleum gases or liquid fuels if required. Such flexibility is not easy when in a context where supply or fuel type can fluctuate. Having a turbine that is not tightly tied to one feedstock makes a big difference in reliability and resilience. In terms of performance, the GTD 110M reportedly achieves a thermal efficiency of over 36% in open cycle mode, an efficiency that is said to be comparable to the best foreign turbines in its class. In practice, this translates into reliable power output. For example, at the Udarnaya Thermal Power Plant, Russia's first major plant to use the GTD-110, the turbine completed a 72-hour full load test, stably supplying power to the country's unified grid and producing nearly 3.5 million MTUDULIWAN in the first year of operation. This is proof that the turbine can meet real-world needs over the long term. On the production side, UEC has ramped up capacity building a new mechanical assembly plant in Rybinsk, designed to produce up to four GTD 110 mm turbines per year, starting around 2028. This represents a commitment not just to a single prototype, but to a scalable mass production capable industrial base, a necessary condition for global competition or even large scale replacement of existing foreign made turbines. Strategically, the gas turbine's greatest strength lies in what lies behind the specification's sovereignty and autonomy. With foreign manufacturers largely absent from the Russian market due to sanctions Russia's energy infrastructure, which is heavily dependent on Western supply chains, has faced serious disruption. Furthermore, the engine offers a domestic alternative, allowing operators to control maintenance spare parts supply future upgrades and integration without relying on foreign goodwill or export licenses. The gas turbine is therefore not just a domestic alternative. It is a powerful competitive engine with reliable performance. In the mid-power segment, it offers the power efficiency and flexibility one would expect from a Western wind turbine. Strategically, it is arguably superior thanks to its immunity to geopolitical supply shocks its adaptability to fuel changes and its ability to be manufactured and maintained entirely in Russia. Rolls-Royce faces significant challenges as the GTD 110M overtakes it, largely due to geopolitical sanctions, supply chain disruptions, and market exclusion. Following the Ukraine conflict in 2022, Rolls-Royce ceased direct business operations in Russia losing access to one of its largest industrial turbine markets. Sanctions restrict sales maintenance, and spare parts supply limiting Rolls-Royce's ability to support existing turbines. This creates a significant operational gap for Russian energy producers. Furthermore, Rolls-Royce's reliance on Russian titanium around 20% of demand demonstrates a complex interdependence 
that is now being strained by sanctions increasing risks and production costs. While Rolls-Royce is globally renowned for its technological excellence, the inability to operate or return to Russia under the current political and economic conditions has severely limited sales and growth in this important region. In contrast, the GTD 110M is entirely manufactured in Russia, designed for local fuel and environmental conditions, and is firmly supported by the government's strategic priorities. Its arrival symbolizes Russia's shift towards technological sovereignty and energy security, directly taking market share from Rolls-Royce. This move not only reduces Rolls-Royce's short-term sales, but also forces the company to reconsider its global strategy in an increasingly fragmented geopolitical landscape. Overall, this Russian gas turbine illustrates how geopolitical pressure can drive domestic innovation and self-reliance, turning crises into opportunities for industrial development. For Russia, it is a significant step towards technological sovereignty in a sector vital to national security and economic stability. For Rolls-Royce, it is a cautionary tale of the vulnerabilities faced by global companies operating in politically sensitive markets highlighting the importance of flexible and adaptable supply chains. In this sense, the GTD 110M is more than just a turbine. It is a symbol of how geopolitical realities, industrial ambitions, and technological innovation are converging to reshape competition and the strategic balance in the global energy sector. Is Rolls-Royce facing a temporary setback or a long-term strategic risk? What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below. The success of the GTD 110 m turbine could mark a significant turning point for Russia, allowing it to become a major independent gas turbine manufacturer on the international stage, competing directly with giants such as GE and Siemens. The turbine will not only redefine Russia's energy independence, but will also lay the foundation for breakthroughs in aviation technology if the innovations behind the gas turbine are extended to aircraft engines, Russia could gain a strategic advantage in the global aviation market, which values efficiency and sustainability. This achievement demonstrates the resilience and ingenuity of Russian engineers, proving that despite isolation and sanctions, cutting-edge technological advances are possible. It is more than just a means of generating electricity. It is a symbol of determination and innovation. As Russia moves forward, the success of this turbine could fuel the country's rise as a formidable global competitor in both energy and aerospace technology. The story reflects a broader view of how adversity can spur discovery and transformation in high-tech industries. Video ends here. Thank you for your support. Goodbye, and see you again.